So we got a new model from Google called a Nano Banana Pro and of course this is the new versions of Nano Banana and it has some new updates and upgrades that I think looks really cool. So at this point I believe you have seen some pictures that were generated by a Nano Banana Pro but in this video I'll just focus only the new improvements and also some new features that we have on a Nano Banana Pro. So let's get into it first of all this model is getting better at rendering text so i have seen many pictures generated by nano banana pro and so far i haven't seen any mistake on the text so every single letter is very much accurate which means you can rely on a nano banana pro to generate some comics or perhaps infographics or anything that contains some text and again everything looks so perfect at least in the english language so just give it a try you can uh, tell gemini about what kind of text that you want to insert into the picture then there is a good chance that it will be 100 accurate so that's the first thing that i think i noticed on gemini nano banana pro secondly this is related to the previous new thing which is better text rendering and now this model is actually very good at creating mock-up or fake screenshot so this is a screenshot of whatsapp or some some sort of messages app and uh, the text is of course accurate but also the ui seems to be quite consistent and familiar and also i try to create the screenshot or what windows 11 look like running google chrome and as you can see it looks so perfect i don't see any mistake at all maybe the only thing that kind of giving away that this not a real picture is first the text here is kind of not obvious so that's actually one problem especially when the text is so small and also i noticed the instagram logo seems to be uh, appearing twice which is not realistic but overall everything else looks very realistic and also i think this could pass as a real screenshot or real computer running windows 11. so that's second thing that i noticed on a nano banana pro and on number three finally we got better control over aspect ratio so the way you do it is by just telling gemini about what is the aspect ratio that you want to use for your picture so this is actually one simple thing that didn't exist on the previous version of nano banana and i actually made some videos over how you can deal with this issue but now you can describe what is the aspect ratio in the prom and gemini will do it for you and uh the thing number four that i noticed or i found in nano banana is uh, apparently this model do able to access the content on the internet which means it can get the most accurate looking picture based on of course the latest information but so far i seem to not able to get it correctly because here i'm trying to generate a picture of iphone air but this is definitely not iphone air it doesn't look like this and also why this person is holding two phones together like this it's kind of weird and i tried again using you know a more familiar product which is google pixel 10 but even that it is not 100 accurate like the placement here is incorrect and also the speaker doesn't look like this so i'm not sure if this is actually very good at searching content on the internet but at least it is something that has been advertised for the model and also i saw some people using it and it is indeed able to get the latest information so i encourage you to just give it a try and maybe you can get something good out of this model so uh number five is this is actually just some tiny improvement so basically the model is now able to handle multiple elements in uh, in one picture uh, on the previous model sometimes it's kind of hit and miss but so far i've been testing this and it's always accurate every single element that you request will appear in the photo so that was number five number six finally this model can generate a 4k picture so yeah you can generate a very sharp picture using nano banana pro but remember if you want to get the full resolution do not right click and then save image don't do that instead you have to click the download button right here to get the full size so that was number six number seven is this model actually supports something called annotation now unfortunately i don't have the feature yet it is not yet arrived to my account but basically when you upload a picture to gemini you can click on the picture and then it will open a sort of interface where you can create an annotation of doodling basically and it's kind of guiding ai about what are the elements that you want to change on the picture so that's really cool but unfortunately i cannot show you how it works because i don't have the feature but i saw some people do have that on their gemini account so again just open gemini and give it a try 
Now, that was number seven, which unfortunately I cannot show you, but number eight, uh, this model is getting better at transfer install. So the previous version of Nano Banana is just really bad at following the instruction to transfer the style from one photo to another. And usually they're just giving you the same picture, but this time around, it is actually at least able to do something or say, uh, change something on the picture. Like in this example, I'm trying to create a picture with Studio Ghibli style, but it is not the same. I can tell it is more like a regular anime style, which is not bad, but it is not the same. So it is not perfect. I think ChatGPT is still the better option if you want to create a Studio Ghibli picture. But at least now we got some improvement that this model, Nano Banana, Nano Banana Pro, is able to transfer the style from one picture to another. Okay, that was number seven. Number eight, actually that was number eight. Number nine, you can easily change the time setting on the photo. Now, this sounds trivial, but I actually have done many tests on the previous version of Nano Banana, and it sucks. It's really bad at transferring or changing the time from night to day or day to night. It is just very bad at it. But this model is just very good. Like in this example, I was able to turn the uh, time setting from daylight into night like this and it's very very accurate it's believable it's realistic so you can change the situation you can change the lighting on your photo with just a simple plain instruction so that was number nine and number ten which is the final and i, I think i really like it you can change the focus of the photo so let's say you have a photo that is kind of blurry and you want to change the focus to the particular person or subject you can tell that to gemini nano banana pro so this is actually the result but the original picture look like this so the main focus was actually the yellow flower and not the white one and with some prompting i was able to change the focus of the camera to the white flower even though it's actually changing the picture a bit it is adding extra area around here to make the picture more visible but at least it is able to easily change or shift the focus of the subject. So that's really cool. And definitely that's one thing that you can use right away. So yeah, these are some new features and some new improvements that I noticed on Gemini Nano Banana Pro. And if you want to try this model, you can use the official Gemini web or app version, and then you can enable the thinking mode and also enable the create images to use Nano Banana Pro. And you can upload pictures, you can do a lot of things. So I'll probably will make more videos about this model in the future but these are some general overview or general features that you can expect to get or use in gemini nano banana pro so yeah that's basically it thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead